almost on Vancouver Island. I got a ramp and a dock to go, and then I'm touchdown on Vancouver Island. Two weeks into the trip, it'll be two weeks tomorrow since shoving off from Bellingham. Two weeks sleeping and living in this little contraption, pleasure yacht, vessel of instability. One of these days I'll show you. See, I put my lead board there, but on my feet, and then the pad, and that's how me and Nora get off. And then I gotta get the wheelchair out, and yada yada yada. And now I gotta actually have the confidence to walk away from the thing and feel like it's gonna stay here all right, and not take a big wake and sink. This is us in, I don't know, it feels like San Diego, California, but it's not, it's Nanaimo. No, I don't step on the solar panel. What other cool stuff was I gonna tell you? I don't know, I'm gonna go get some ice cream. That's what my first purchase is gonna be. Yeah, long term food storage up front. Underneath the cover, I can rewrap this. That catches the sail from all all the way down. That clamp right there is holding the sail boom up, so I can have my little tender boom over my head. I'm drying out all the sleeping bags. It's been weeks since we've been completely dry. And then. I just bought a bunch of food, not food, I bought a bunch of gear, I gotta get it all stowed away, see ya. We're all stocked up, reloaded, and leaving Nanaimo. We were just sailing in the rain with planes flying over our head, little seaplanes. But now the sun's come out, it's kinda nice enjoying the boats and people instead of just trees and rocks. But it'll be good to get back out there, which is where we're headed now. Um, to be honest, the first two weeks of this trip I put in two weeks ago tonight have been stressful, overwhelming, near catastrophe, disgusting, living in my own toilet bowl to an extent wet, soaking wet, and exhausting. With a few moments of, wow, this is awesome, I'm glad I'm out here. So, hopefully I'm going to be settling in more and more each day and my body and internal system will adapt better to this lifestyle and the weather will be kind. The fear is pretty big. I realize that this boat is, it's not gonna take much to end my day on the water. Even in these little channels, I've run into enough wave action to see one bounce over the rail. So, I don't know, and I got, I still got a ways to go to get up inside some of the more narrow, real protected waters where, I, where it'll be more still and currents, but anyways, we're gonna keep on chugging along two weeks in.